while they have many similarities to each other, there are a few key factors that differentiate each feeder from each other. What I'm going to do is point out those key factors to you so that you can make an informed decision for yourself which smart bird feeder is the right choice for you. Hello, I'm Wanderer001 and let's get into this. I will start the video off by saying that this is a sponsored video. However, the sponsor doesn't get to pick who the actual winner is and I was going to make this video anyway. With that out of the way, key differences. You're going to notice right off the bat the net view is much larger than the bird buddy here. Now, there are some good points to a larger bird feeder. One, its sea capacity is going to be much larger. And by that, I mean 1,500 milliliters to the 600 that you get with the Bird Buddy. You also have a much larger feeding tray than you do the Bird Buddy. And NetView, out of the box for their base bottle, comes with a perch. Bird Buddy, you just have this little spot here. Now, sounds like I'm leaning towards NetView. However, NetView has a much shallower feed dish than the bird buddy, meaning more seed will stay in your bird buddy than your net view. Next, we're going to talk about the roofs. They are different shapes. The bird buddy is a more traditional birdhouse style, while the net view is definitely an umbrella style. Both of them give ample coverage to the feed area. However, because of their design, accessing the food chute can be a little tricky. And what do I mean by that? On the bird buddy, you have a little door in the back that pops open that requires you to use almost like a scoop to get your food in there. However, on the net view, the roof itself flips forward, giving you access to a very large seed hopper in the back. Each come with several different mounting options. As you can see on the bird buddy, there's a string mount right up there. Net view, most of its mounting options are around this, which attached to the bottom. You have lots of different clippage that you could do to get it to stay in place where you want it, while the Bird Buddy is more similar to things that you might already have in your garden. That's also why the size of the Bird Buddy is important, because it's small enough to get where you might already have a pre-existing bird feeder. However, the biggest difference between the Bird Buddy and the NetView Smart Bird Feeder is the camera modules themselves. For starters, Bird Buddy on the left records at 720p. NetView records at 1080p. Aspect ratio wise, that means that the Bird Buddy is going to have a 3x4 while the NetView has a 16x9. So that's going to be more like what you're used to seeing for HDTV. They have different working modes. Both operate via a PIR sensor, which is a heat-based motion sensor. However, hibernates itself overnight, meaning when there's less traffic, it goes to sleep. However, NetView stays on overnight, allowing you to use it as a security camera as well as a bird watching device. And because of that, NetView also has IR lights built into it as well as an LED if you wanted to see color at night or if you wanted that black and white view at night. It's something the Bird Buddy does not have. The camera modules themselves on the Bird Buddy is removable so that you can take it inside to charge, however, is not adjustable from how it is set. It will always just look forward. On the NetView here, however, the camera module itself is adjustable so that you can point it down if you want to get more close-up birds or angled slightly up if you want to get your bird feeder and see out into your yard to see other animals that might be walking around your yard or if you have mystery guests like I've had in the past. The Bird Buddy, to help keep its size small for the camera module, does not have an SD card slot. However, the NetView does. Both support cloud storage of your video clip. NetView will either capture all motion when it's triggered if you want or you can set it for specifics, meaning only when it sees birds. The Bird Buddy will only capture birds, and it's a short distance from the camera module itself, so you cannot use this to detect other animals or people walking in your yard. The NetView also has a built-in speaker and microphone so that you can have two-way audio. Granted, you might not be talking to your birds, but you can tell that pesky neighbor dog to get out of your yard. Audio from the camera. Sally, Five and six shorts, Peter, Piper, Pitch, Paco, Pickle, Peppers. With the Bird Buddy relying on an AI algorithm and close heat motion to the camera module itself, you might get clips that are cut off instead of a full motion capture, like you might get with the NetView. Here's an example of what you would see with the Bird Buddy.
versus what you might get with the NetView. Granted, I have cut the clips down a little bit so that you can compare the two. With both of these being wireless devices that attach to your network at home, well, you can see on the Bird Buddy itself, there is no external antenna, meaning that there is an internal antenna in your camera module there. However, if we spin that view around, you could see there is a Wi-Fi antenna in the back of that, meaning you can get better range with the NetView than you can with the Bird Buddy. Speaking of our camera modules themselves, both of these are battery powered devices. Bird Buddy has a 4,000 milliamp battery. The NetView has a 52 milliamp, meaning you'll get longer runtime out of your NetView. However, because the NetView runs all the time and doesn't hibernate at night, it does need that larger battery. Now, I have been talking about the base models, but because of the size of those batteries and depending on how many birds you get, there is going to be another comparison that I want to talk about, and that is going to be for optional solar panels that you can get for both the Bird Buddy and the NetView. Notice the Bird Buddy situates itself nicely on the birdhouse itself, and the NetView has this standalone panel with a rubberized corkscrew that you would have to twist around something, and they give you a generous length of cable. Having something built into your bird feeder is a nice option if you don't want to have to worry about placement of another solar panel. However, you will have to determine where the best sun location is and then place your bird feeder. With the NetView, you do have the option of placing your bird feeder wherever you like and then using the solar panel attachment and place that where you get the best sun. Next, one of the larger differentiations between the Bird Buddy and the NetView are actually the accompanying applications for them. The Bird Buddy app was built from the ground up with a specific task in mind, and that is to keep track of and identify birds that it sees, Con concentrating more on photography and video clips of those birds. While the NetView is an addition to the pre-existing NetView app, because they have a lot of other devices, not just a smart bird feeder, and it's integrated into there. Now, yes, the NetView concentrates more on video clips as opposed to photos that you would then have to go back and if you wanted a photo, press a button and then get your photo that way of a bird that you might have seen. As far as identification goes, they are fairly close in the amount of birds that they will identify. However, the Bird Buddy, as I mentioned before, is designed around the idea of identifying birds and letting you know what they are. So a lot of the bird information is built in proprietary to Bird Buddy, meaning they're the ones that are providing the information with you. It is their unique AI algorithm that's identifying birds, and they have a humorous, comical way of giving you information. The NetView, on the other hand, while they do identify birds just as the Bird Buddy does, they link out to Wikipedia for information on a bird rather than having that sourced inside the app itself. So it's really a matter of the type of information you're looking for. As far as identification goes, both can misidentify birds, but as AI continues to grow, the identification process will get easier for both of them. In conclusion, which is the right bird feeder for you? Well, it depends on which feature set works best for your situation. For me, I lean more towards the NetView, and that's because I am both security-minded, but also want to keep track of birds and animals that are around my house. For you, maybe the Bird Buddy, because you're just looking at, hey, I want to see a bird, I don't really need security, because I have other cameras around my house, and that's perfectly fine. It's all a matter of which smart bird feeder fits into your lifestyle choices. For me, the fact that the NetView will operate overnight and has the adjustable camera means I can use it for more than just keeping track of birds. But that doesn't mean that the Bird Buddy doesn't do a great job of tracking birds itself. Hopefully, you found this video informative and helpful in deciding between the Bird Buddy or the NetView Birdify bird feeder. If you appreciate the amount of time and effort that it goes into making videos like this, make sure to hit that like button because that'll tell YouTube more people should see it because it's a good video. If you like what I'm doing here and want to be notified of my next review, 
hit that subscribe button. If you're still not sure which bird feeder would be best for you, please click one of these video cards so that you can see the full review for either bird feeder. With that being said, I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.